So good morning and welcome to a new Tech Edu Tips. I want to talk about setting up communications with students. Um, there's lots of options. You can use the official forums on your LMS like Canvas or Blackboard or whatever you're using, Google Classroom, um, Edmodo, whatever, whatever it is you're using. But I tend to find having a, an asynchronous and even synchronous option outside of the official platform can work. Now, first, you got to be careful. Let's not overload our students with too many accounts on all the things. Um, it, it gets overloading. But I have found this useful. Um, I like to generally go to where the students already are. There's often resistance of installing another app on their phone, etc. And um, so I've used Facebook group, private groups. I've used uh, Twitter often. I've used Slack. I've used lots of different tools, but I've also used Discord. So uh, I'm going to talk about Discord today. And there's a really good article here about how to use Discord for your classroom. And it's all set up. Um, it looks really interesting. I should actually click on this sometime and sign up for one of those templates. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so you can set it up. And uh, there's a good article here on using Discord in your classroom. And uh, there's another article here I've got linked, and I'll drop the links down below, as always. Uh, here's a beginner's guide to Discord that you might want to take a look at, and the community guidelines, which I'll mention here in a second. So if you have Discord, the app installed, I have it installed here on my Linux, but it's available for Windows. I'm sure it's available for Mac, and it's definitely available for your mobile devices. I find it easier to do administrative type work on a computer. So here we are, I've got, this is a, a Discord I use for students in general to contact me. And I, I, I had created private channels for separate groups, but then I've also found that my students like to have just a Discord dedicated to them. So for example, I've got this Discord that I set up for this course, and I've actually said that I'll be deleting this Discord um, at the end of the course. So I'll do that in a second, I'll show you. But how to create your own, you can go through that tutorial, but it's pretty easy. Go ahead, create your own. Um, I'm going to make this for a community and uh, can, uh, let's see. So this is the TC 2005B server. All right, I could just do that. That's fine. I could upload a icon. Not going to do that late yet. I can change it later. So now it's made. Um, now it's a matter of following tutorials. You can add people, you can add groups and roles. You probably want to be careful um, and make choices about who can delete things and add things. But that's that's basically it. And then I just have to click on invite my friends and then it's going to give me an invite code. Um, and so there we go. So I want to uh, change that invite link. I'll change that here in a second because now I've published it. Um, and then that's it for creating a server. Now for deleting a server, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just show you. I'm going to delete this server so I can go to the Discord server. Here's where you change all the settings. And this is what I said earlier. I probably want to change that. And I just want to go and hit delete. So I'm going to delete that server. Okay. I'm going to have to go to my Authy. So um, I have two-factor installed. And there we go. Uh, actually, no, it's not set up there. There we go. I think I found it. And yeah, so you do want to set up two factor authentication. I'm not worried about you seeing this code because well, this code will be invalid in a moment. Um, server no longer active. There we go. So there we go. Server's gone. And uh, now I can uh, go ahead and start configuring that new server I just created. Where did it go? I can't remember where it went, but I'll find it here. And then I'll work on that and send out the invites to my students. Uh, possibly create one thing I've done before in my groups is I create private channels for each of the project teams, and then they can use that for their own communication as well. So I invite you to look at Discord. 
uh, look at it as an option for communication with your classes. And uh, I hope this was useful.